first of all to start would like to say thanks from bottom of my heart for inviting me here dr bharat dr manoj chawla dr sunil jain and all those who are involved we will speak or today i am going to speak regarding social media and diabetes so when we discuss social media and diabetes we will discuss in the two contexts first social media and diabetes in the context how it will going to or or how it is going to helpful for the people with diabetes second social media and diabetes in the context of healthcare professional if we talk about people with diabetes of course uh, any guideline you take nowadays diabetes management it focus on self education so education 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 which we always say it's a key for successful diabetes management the use of social media for diabetes self management education program and how it's going to be helpful that we will discuss and of course uh, people with diabetes can find many communities and people may become more comfortable they may get the solution from the same like uh, same mind people also if we talk about healthcare professional they can use social media for the education it may be their patient education as well as professional education networking we all are here and of course you will see the bombarding in social media and that's a proof that we are using networking and of course branding also uh, one of the tool uh, social media uh, for their own branding but when we say we are living in the digital era and still this is the recent paper in 2023 and which says in nature that in india there is lower awareness of diabetes among the poor people and that says that till we need to reach to that part of the world since way back uh, in 2014 this was the paper by any cooper and partha kar and they suggested or, or they wrote that there is a big importance of using social media for empowering the our people with diabetes for their better diabetes care and then there are many evidence uh, like use of social media for diabetes self care uh, systematic review that also suggests there is a place but yet use is very nascent so a, a streamlined structure use of social media for the people with diabetes or uh, for the healthcare professional even is required again intervention using the social media for the diabetes management there is a large scope but yes it's not standardized even in guidelines even you take the guidelines of any society they have yet not included how social media can be incorporated for the successful diabetes management that is the now the need of an hour also use of social media data in diabetes care it, it it can be used as a bridge for the conceptual gap between healthcare provider and network population that we were thinking that it it can act as a role of diabetes educator and which can you know connect the healthcare professional and to the people with diabetes and globally it is well needed so many papers are on that so do we really have in our indian setting that we can have our diabetes self management education program by our own society either diabetes india may come up with that our d genius group may come up with that what are the barriers and how we can come over that in policy making because diabetes self management is education program if we see what we are aiming at uh, for the individual level short term goals we want to you know reduce their sugar but we want to reduce their burden as well so less visit less complication and good glycemic profile on the long term the aim will be to provide good quality of life for our people living with diabetes but what is the fact if you see the appreciation of educators among the people with diabetes it is large and this is the data of 2006 of idf but if you see in the health authorities it's it's less so uh, health authorities policy makers they also have to you know incorporate either educator or use of social media into the guideline making into the management policies so can we integrate social media for the diabetes management yeah yes 
uh, we do have we call it as online health communities either various discussion forums are there you may go through the different facebook group on twitter on insta many communities uh, would not say whatsapp except whatsapp university there are many many good groups you know which can be helpful providing authentic information so as a healthcare professional it's our duty to guide our people with diabetes what social media to follow for their better care we all know uh, for type 1 diabetes this group is active diabetes one of course blue circle diabetes foundation and our own d genius you know uh, for the making the life of a people with diabetes uh, the young diabetologist group including me rutul and everyone we are just uh, you know aiming hard to achieve that we have done many programs and this is the recent uh, before diabetes india awareness series in hypoglycemia we have done and you know uh, it was done in all the regional languages uh, across uh, india and it was appreciated well so this is the role what social media can play for the people with diabetes of course in today's session or in in today's conference even we had open mic uh, to spread the message and what is the impact of social media it is from this just a simple tiktok video and it has created a huge impact and it can make sensor as a fashion accessories so this is what is the power of social media if it is utilized properly if it is guided properly so that is what is required as is a recent paper in 2023 where you know uh, a method to analyze uh, different uh, social media strategies and their impact and that was correlated so they divided the people with diabetes into four group either pre diabetes type 2 diabetes severe diabetes or type 2 diabetes which are on insulin and type 2 diabetes in remission they defined it as where diabetes was under control a1c remaining less than 6.5 and they were only on single oad and these are the different social support categories they analyze the different facebook groups and their post and they categorize into either in the form of achievement congratulation network support setting the emotional support or seeking the informational support or providing the emotional support providing the informational support and they see the which kind of post uh, it is utilized by which kind of groups and it was found that you know we can see that uh in pre diabetic group seeking informational support that kind of uh, post were liked or that were appreciated much type 2 diabetes providing informational support people with diabetes and insulin providing informational support and people uh, about to have remission you know uh, they they just seek the network support you know so that they can incorporate their healthy lifestyle into their daily living so this is the use of data and this can guide us uh, different as per the patient profile which kind of social media support we can guide to our people with diabetes if we talk about healthcare professional of course it may be useful for education it can be useful for the learning as well as mentoring of course for the networking and branding even so there are many social media networking sites where healthcare professional go through they can engage into the activities they can you know empower themselves for the knowledge regarding your treatment your technologies idf dnet group is very much active blogs from various authorities or uh, various still words wikis media sharing sites and now muvs are there so this is the glimpse of that dnet group which i just discussed you know uh, where all the healthcare professional they are active uh, every week they put one questions and all the professionals they give the solution different case discussions are there so we recommend we should go through that and again this was you know initiated by d genius and we are doing different activities and uh, this was just yesterday activities where uh, we are trying to get together and we are trying to come up with the strategies to make the people with diabetes uh, happy and quality of life of course in conference new initiative by diabetes india created that making different study groups 
So I would like to invite all of you, those who are interested, to join the different study group. There are 15 study groups as per your niche, your interest. You try to find it out where you want to work, where you want to associate, where you want to give or where you want to empower yourself and people with diabetes. You may join in primary care or technology or women or pediatric diabetes, diabetes in elderly, diabetes in sexual dysfunction, heart in diabetes, diabetes kidney disease, diabetes and liver. As per your interest, this can give us a huge platform to come out ourselves as an expert to develop new research to join the stalwarts in the community and to, to, to make ourselves a, a better healthcare professional and to treat our people with diabetes in a standard manner, what we want. But this is not the all. There are the dangers of social media. We must have to keep into mind if wrong information is passed, it will multiplicate like anything. Like, you know, recently we have seen some Baba will say that type 1 diabetes is curable and buff. You know, in a one week, we will get uh, many calls. Ke, Sir, it is true. How it is done? Aapne abhi tak bola nahi. Aisa kaise hota hai? Everything. So, passing the right information to the right people is important. It may damage your professional image. It may breach the patient privacy. Hazard of violation of patient healthcare professional boundaries. Licensing issues. You know, it may be threat to your medical license even if some wrong information is passed. So there are few guidelines. Keeping into this mind, we can use our social media so that we can make ourselves better. We can make the life of our people with diabetes better regarding content, regarding legal concern. So whenever you are preparing, preparing your presentation also, you are using some Google image, you will have to look that whether it's a license or not, whether it is freely usable or not. Sometimes it may end up in the trouble. Uh, networking practices, what we should keep in mind when we are discussing patient care, what we should keep in mind, personal privacy of our people, those who are trusting us, we should keep into mind, you know, always have the consent if we are talking about case of a, uh, uh, some live cases, always take the consent, involve them. And self-identification, always put yourself ahead so that uh, it should not just go haywire. So that is what is required. So just here we'd like to finish and we'll say happy socialization to all. Thank you.